Welcome back, it's Chris from Hagen Factory. This week's video is worth watching, it's fantastic. Uh, a good friend of ours, Steve, invited us around to have a look at a few of his bikes. Uh, he's a collector, a restorer and a racer. He's been racing since he was a teenager. Uh, he's got a great knowledge of all these bikes and I really appreciate him letting us come around and have a look. So, let's have a look at the video. I just thought I'd uh, invite Chris around to have a look at a couple of the bikes I've got that I'm going to start restoring. I've restored a couple of them. And I've just purchased this SO in the middle here, and we're going to do a bit of a number on that over the next couple of months. Where'd that one come from? That come from just past Sydney, yeah. up in Empire Bay. And a friend of mine, unlucky for me, texted me and told me that it was for sale and showed it to me. So I offered him a bid and he took it. He took it. <laughs> so yeah. I didn't really want it, but now I've got it, I'm going to have to do something with it. Yeah. So. Oh, it's a good looking bike. And they're getting harder to get, aren't they? They are. They, especially the ESOs. Yeah. That's a 1966 model. It's got the engine numbers and all that stuff on it. We'll, uh... And she's a good looking bike. Yeah, it is a good looking bike. It's got, it's got a lot of stuff on it that, that's proper for its age, but there's a lot of stuff on it that's not proper. And what would that be like? What sort of stuff? Uh, that sort of stuff's like the tank. Yep. The tank, the clutch. There's a three spring clutch. Should be a six spring clutch. Okay. Uh, we've got one of those. No, that's okay. We can change that over. The chain guard's obviously a homemade looking jigger. Yeah, yeah. We'll get rid of that. It's a bit scary looking. We'll get the magneto. It's got the correct magneto on it. Correct carby. Handlebars were back in the day. They were an option. You could either have them or the or the bars that are on the other. Yeah, what they call those bars, the one that go on the forklifts? Oh. Do they have a special name? Or? Not that I'm aware of. No, just an option, were they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look in the manual, you'll see on the manual, in the manuals of the early, early bikes, they have, they have the, uh, the option for the bars that you want. So, uh, if we can find the right page, yeah. we'll be They're, right. um, they're a different setup, aren't they? Oh, won't but be I suppose, weird. Um, when you crash at that, I suppose they fold in, do they? Yeah, there they go. See? Yeah. There's the option of the bars you can have. Yeah. Now, so, I've, I've measured those, and they're six, 60 mil wider than the two valve jar bars that are here. Yeah, righto. So that's uh, a fair bit, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it is. But, but when you sit on it, when you sit on it and get up in a sliding position, as you do, they actually feel quite comfortable. Yeah, okay. Yep. So, I don't know, we'll give her a go on the track once we get it all finished and see what it goes like. But I just like the idea of, you've got the old Jap, that's a 1948 Jap. You can get a bit of an idea of where they, where they come from, where they sort of started a little bit, and then they move on. <laughs> period of so started making these, they, they were buying Jap motors when, okay. they, when they first started. Right. But then they then they produced their own, which is what we got here. So what year was this again? Sorry. This is 1966. Yep. Um, so it's not, it's not, it's okay the way, well, it's okay the way it is, but it's not correct. So we'll, we'll I like it. We'll correct that. We'll yeah. get the right, it's got the wrong guard on the back, mud guard's wrong. Okay. Um, 66, we'll, would that steel guard or fiberglass guard? Steel. Yep. Steel and painted blue, not that blue. Yep. More of a blue that's on that. Well, there's a range of blues, everyone. More of a blue that's on this yeah, tent. Yeah, different people use. Well, yeah. There's no actual proper code for the for the paint. I think it's whatever they had at the time that they used. Yeah, okay. Uh, steel wheels, of course, straight out pipe. Big, big dirty Del Auto Carby. Yeah, she looks good. Yeah. And as you'll see, that's the 1966. This other one here, that's a, non, that's a 1978 model. And as you can see, the difference now is that they've got oil in the tank, oil in the frame, sorry. Uh, they've gone to a Pal Magneto. They've gone to a three spring clutch.
36 Del Auto pump of carby. Um, and a big, a big thing on these, the difference between the 1966 and the 78 is the webbing on the crankcases. The early models had a big problem with smashing smashing the crankcases let the, they'd crack and carry on well, yeah, now they, yep. they went from a six web i think it's a six web crankcase to an eight web on the okay on and the two valves so that there. solved all those problems yeah 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 a lot stronger yeah. they a few changes internally on the gurus out there will correct me probably but they went the oil feeds were different to the heads the they went from aluminium bushes on the rockers to brass um a few other things but you know. So what's the history on this bike? So you've had this for... Well, I've had this this bike I restored back in 1988. Um, there's not really any history to it. I had one of those. Yeah. I bought one of these brand new off John Bowles of Competition Motorcycles in 1975 for $1,275. Yeah. So I, I was one in 1975. Eh? I was one year old oh, yeah? in 1975. Yeah. Right, very good. <laughs> so I end up... I end up back in 88, I had three of these fully restored. I, you could buy them back then for next to nothing. Yeah, they weren't much, were they? No. 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 A couple of grand at the moment. Oh, not even that. Buy, I was buying full bikes for $600. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, right. So, but I was lucky enough to have a lot of original stuff. Um, yeah, so I've, I've kept this one. I've sold, I've sold the other two along the, along the journey to get the collection I've got. I'm now, I'm now getting to the point where my collection is of starting back earlier than when I was racing back to the Japs and I'm lucky that I've got the SO because now the SO will go with the Jap, the SO, the Jawa, then I've got eight, nine, seven Jawas and other things. Other Other projects that yep. that one up on the bench that's a 1974 road tracks jet that's got an 80 that'll have an 84 s jet motor in it that's a good looking bike I only made 300 of them really yep i see yep. one advertised i think it was like 14 green yeah orange one yeah yeah lauren darwin isn't it? Gold green. yeah yeah that motor in that is actually up at phil crump's now getting so getting rebuilt yeah fantastic service so that'll be getting a run around broadford this summer, which will be good. Uh, we'll come over and have a look, I think. Yeah, I think we should. Show a bit of support. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah. Now I give all my stuff that I get done, aqua blasting and all that stuff goes from goes straight to Bendigo aqua blasting. Hydro blasting. Hydro blasting. Yeah, Craig. Yeah, Craig does a marvellous job. Nothing's too big or difficult for him. He, he rips right into it. He, no, he's he, good. He's fantastic. Yeah, he's yeah. done a lot of stuff for us. It's been yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. Can't uh, fold his work out. Alan all. Thomas does a bit of engineering work for me as well, yep. which is good. He, he's pretty switched he's on. He's a mad engineer, isn't he? He's he done some great engineer. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's thorough, though. I'll yeah, give him that. that TT he's yeah. got. With the, beautiful. With the GM top end. Or yeah, beautiful. Bike. Masterpiece. Yeah, yeah, beautiful bike. So. so you can see the difference between the 66 and the and the 78. Um, that, that 78, one of the best original bikes back in the... At the Penzoil show at the showgrounds in Bendigo in 1991. Yeah, I went to that. Yeah, that was a great event, wasn't it? It was good. Yeah. yeah, had a lot of ride, had a few rides on the bikes back then, and we could show them and all that sort of stuff. It was good. Yep. So, when did you have your first ride on a speedway bike? When I turned 16. I bought me two Volvo like that when I was 15. Yeah. I paid it off $100 a month to John Bowles for 12 months, and as soon as I turned 16, I picked it up. Took it round to Wayne McKenzie's motorcycles. We ripped the banana, as everyone done, we ripped the banana seat off it. We ripped the bars off it. We put a small seat on it and a set of rental bars. Bars, yep. And away we went. Yep. So, so there's a lot of history with speedboat bikes in your family, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, my dad, my dad started riding when he was about 45. He's got a few blokes together, like the likes of Gary Keane, Stewie Diss, people like that. At one stage there, we had a, he had a little farm out of Bendigo with a goat track for a practice track there was 16 riders in bendigo at one stage yeah that's unreal isn't it? it's a lot of riders yeah it is it's huge place. isn't it for yeah. a small town yeah so yeah my brother rode as well peter he rode i've still got peter's bike that's in the other room yeah um we've we've done that up back to the original the way it was when he 
was riding it. And you said that was Stewie Diss's bike. That was you? Stewie Diss's bike, yeah. And that was a, that originally started as an SO. Yeah. And it's progressed through crashes and blow ups. To, what it is now. to a Jawa, Jawa engine, engine, but it's still got the original early SO uh, engine plates, which are pretty rare because if I'll show you later how yeah. the, where the difference is in them. But yeah, um, yeah no, nah, it's good. So no, you've done well. You've got a great collection. I have got a good collection. It's yep. taken a lot of time and a lot of effort. Oh, I can imagine. You've done some miles too, haven't you? Chasing all this stuff yeah, up. Yeah, And you have to. If you want to do it well, you've got to do yeah. the miles and spend the yeah. money there. But I've been lucky. In the last probably eight years, I've had a guy in England that buys a lot of stuff for me. Yeah, okay. He, he checks it out before I buy it, and he'll package it and bring it out. I've bought a lot of motors out of England in the last five, six years. That um, I was lucky because now the the cost of freight to get them out here is just ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's COVID, I reckon it's just yeah. about doubled to get yeah. stuff out of England. Yeah. I reckon, yeah. yeah. So I don't I don't worry about that anymore so much, but, um, well, but I'm not You've got enough to do by the look of it. Eh? You probably don't need too many more. No, I'm about done. I'm, actually, I'm gonna, I'm sort of trying to get the collection to a point where I have probably quality, not quantity. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, so uh, we spent, we spent, me and Bill Allen, we spent probably we spent six hour, uh, six years sponsoring Geordie Jordy Stewart in the Speedway overseas. That sort of put a bit of a hold on the rest restoration side of things. But yeah, now Geordie's yeah. retired now, so um, we're back into doing the restoration stuff. That's fantastic. So, yeah, no, you've done a great job. Thanks for having us around. No worries we'll at all. Just, we'll keep uh, in touch. We'll keep. We'll yeah. do a few bikes every now and then. And yeah, we'll, I'm sure yeah, we'll get a great fine. response. Now, is there anything that you're chasing? That you really need uh yeah two valve engine crankcases nice. i'd like to get them to rebuild that that motor in there but if you've got anything interesting um that you think steve might be interested in or might need after looking at these bikes the email address is in the notes as you know on my youtube channel or you do a send me an email and i'll get you in touch with steve yeah that'd be great and also while i'm at it if I if it's alright to mention that Hagen I've got a I've got a fair yeah. bit of, I've got a bit of Hagen yes. stuff that I want to offload. So I'm not into Hagen. So if anyone is interested in some Hagen uh, brake pedals, uh, it's a magnesium rear hub. Magnesium rear hub, yeah. Set of forks that need a bit of attention. Um, there's a lot of little bits and pieces, um, brackets and stuff that are all genuine Hagen. So just yeah, getting it's a good lot of stuff, and you'll never see it again. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. So just, it's worth a look. Just contact Chris and... Yep, and we'll, I'll put you in touch with Steve. Yeah, and we'll move it on to someone that can use it. Righto, same as every other week. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody. Let's bring Hagen's back. <laughs>